Okay, everyone, we are going to be looking at some examples from 3.03 lines and intercepts. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, it asks which ordered pair is a solution to the linear equation negative 3x plus 2y equals 4. So in order to figure this out, we need to actually plug in these values. So remember, every ordered pair is x comma y. So we're just going to plug these in and we're going to solve. So I plug 2 in for x, so negative 3x, or negative 3 times 2 plus 2 times 1 equals 4. So negative 6 plus 2. Um, well, I know that negative 6 plus 2, well, that's negative 4. So those are not equal, meaning a cannot be a solution. Let's go ahead and try b. So now I have negative 3 times negative 2. Remember, I'm getting that x value from right here. So I'm just substituting that x value in. And then I'm going to be adding 2 times my y value, which is negative 1. So again, I'm just substituting in. So negative 1 equals 4. So um, negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. Um, ne positive 2 plus, or sorry, positive 2 times negative 1 would be minus 2. So 4 is actually equal to 4. So the ordered pair that is a solution is B. So again, for something to be a solution means you plug it in and you see if both sides are equal. So um, match the equations with the correct description. This word standard form, the standard form of an equation is AX plus BY equals C where a, b, and c are all numbers, all right? So if we take a look at a, you see how this y comes first? Well, in order to be in standard form, it actually needs to go in this order. So ax plus by equals c. So this would not be in standard form, okay? In the second one, it says negative 2x plus 6y equals 18. Well, that follows this pattern. So that is in standard form. 3 says 6 plus 7y equals 3x. Well, I know that that's not following this pattern, so that would not be in standard form. And then the last one, uh, 4, it says x plus y equals 11. Although I don't have a coefficient, um, that is a number, well, it looks like I don't have a coefficient, but remember, I do. That coefficient is that invisible 1. So this is essentially 1x plus 1y equals 11. So this would be in standard form. So the next part um, asks us to rewrite the equation in standard form. So if you go to rewrite an equation in standard form, remember we want it in the form of ax plus by equals c. So if you notice in this equation, the y and its coefficient of negative 8 are actually on the right-hand side of the equal sign. But in standard form, it's on the left. So I actually need to change the place of y, the negative 8y, and the, the 12, this constant value. So these actually are going to need to flip-flop. So how I do that is we're just going to rearrange. So I use those inverse operations. So to move the negative 8y, I have to add it. So now I have 3x plus 8y plus 12 equals, well, now there's nothing over on that side. Now the c value, this constant, is on the left, but I need to move it to the right. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. So 3x plus 8y equals negative 12. So that's how you rearrange or rewrite in standard form. 
All right, it says explain how each intercept was found for the equation. So remember, to find the x-intercept, to find the x-intercept, we plug 0 in for y. And I'm going to show you that. So to find the x-intercept, 6x plus 3y equals 12, we're actually going to substitute in 0 for this y. So it becomes 6x plus 3 times 0 equals 12, or 6x equals 12. And remember, you need to follow all of those rules for um, solving linear equations. We need to divide both sides by 6, so my x-intercept is 2. Then it wants us to find the y-intercept. So how we find y is we plug 0 in for x. So now we're going to write this as 6x plus 3y equals 12. I am going to replace my x value with a 0. So 6 times 0 plus 3y equals 12. 6 times 0 is 0, so I end up with 3y equals 12. We can divide both sides by 3, so y equals 4. So there is my explanation. The last problem we're going to look at is to describe this graph using intercepts. So in order to describe it using intercepts, let's go ahead and find out what my intercepts are. So to find my x-intercept, remember we plug 0 in for y. So this becomes 4x. Negative 5 times 0 is 0. So 4x equals 20. I can divide both sides by 4. So my x-intercept is 5. You can write this coordinate as 5 comma 0. The reason this y value is 0 is because x is equal to 5 when y was 0. We can then find the y-intercept by plugging 0 in for x. So 4 times 0 is 0, so negative 5y equals 20. And we can go ahead and divide both sides by negative 5, so y is equal to negative 4. And again, um, x, when x is 0, y is negative 4. All right, so those are just some quick additional examples um, for 3.03 .03 lines and intercepts. I hope that helps. Goodbye.